Hey folks, I'm back with part two of my traffic light programming video. Part one was a simple two-way traffic light program. I highly recommend watching that video first before continuing with this one. The link for the video is provided below. For this project, I expanded the original program to include a pedestrian crosswalk option such that when depressed, the crosswalk push button will cause the appropriate walk sign to be illuminated at the next occurrence of a red to green transition for the appropriate direction. If the green light is already illuminated when the button is pressed, then the walk signal sequence will be delayed until the next green, red to green transition occurs. Once the walk sign is illuminated, it will remain so for the duration of the green signal. And finally, when the amber light appears, the walk sign will commence to flash on and off and continue to do so until the red signal appears. For this exercise, the focus is given solely on the increased scope. So I added two walk push button inputs and two walk light outputs. Based on how the task was defined, we can, we can conclude that additional scope doesn't change the existing one. The six traffic lights are solely based on a timer that cycles continuously. And any combination of new inputs will only affect the new outputs. So if I hit the walk uh, push button, it's not going to affect my six traffic lights. For this particular uh, project, there is no single sequence table. You can hit the push button in every step and make it a lot more confusing for yourself. This is where you can turn a sequence table to your sequence table. The table is supposed to help you program better by visualizing the sequence. It is why I kept it relatively simple. Note that walk uh, push buttons aren't pressed until the beginning of the second cycle, which is why both walk lights remain unlit during the first cycle. So at the beginning of the second cycle, I hit both in both directions, right? East, west, north, south. I hit the push buttons when north, south is green, east, west is red. So east, west is going to turn on first because north, south is already green. It has to wait until the next cycle. So here, east, west is green. Walk light turns on. Oh, and by the way, one is on, zero is off, and Z is flashing on and off. So when east west turns amber, the walk light is flashing. For the north south, we wait. We wait until the next cycle. The walk light turns on. North south goes amber, and walk light is flashing. And I hit the uh, push button again on step five here, the second time, and again on both directions. This time, north-south is red, east-west is ember, which means neither side is waiting until the next green cycle because neither side is green at this point. And again, nothing spectacular is happening here. When east-west, uh, I'm sorry, when I'll, I'll start with north-south. Uh, when north-south is green, right? Uh, the walk light turns on when north south is amber the walk light is flashing and then after that east west turns on east west green light turns on we have the walk light for east west direction east west uh, turns amber and the walk light is flashing few things to consider when programming both directions are going to have the same algorithm. North, south, east, west, they're going to have the same algorithm. Each output light should be a function of the input push button. Each direction will have two different conditions. Red amber light walk request and green light walk request, where it's we have to wait until the next cycle for the green. So I, I decide to use a counter for these different conditions. I have two directions. And two condition for each two conditions for each direction, which means I have four counters, and I need to reset those counters, uh, which will require rung right for each counter. Moving on to the actual program, uh, I had a single continuous uh, timer at rung zero on my previous video, which is still here, followed by six limits which is now at the bottom of my program and I inserted all my additions between the two so rungs 1 through 14 is my new scope now I'm gonna focus on rungs 1 through 7 
because rungs 8 through 14 are exactly like 1 through 7. They're the same algorithm, but for different directions. So they're just going to have different uh, IO address numbers, uh, internal bit numbers, counter numbers, but the algorithm is going to be the same. 1 through 7, 8 through 14, they're going to be the same, but different direction. So let's start with the walk light, right? This is where we're turning on east and west walk light. Now we said we have two conditions, right? Here's my easy condition and here's my more difficult condition. The red amber walk request and east west walk request. These are internal bits. And we were told that we need the light to flash when the amber light is lit. So, and this bit is going to help us do that. And when it's green, it's going to be solid. And when it's amber, it's going to be flashing. So let's start with the easy condition first. East, west, red, amber, walk request. So here's, I have the first uh, internal bit, right? Uh, I can see that I have it latched here. Uh, either the red light or the amber light, right? I hit the walk, push button, I have the red light or the amber light. I have this thing latch, provided that my counter done bit is false. This will help us unlatch the request when we're done. So here I have the counter, uh, I have the request, so if I have the request, and if, if we have green light, the counter counts up to one, and when it equals one, and when, when we have red light, the counter counts again, and accumulation goes to two, at two, we're going to reset. So this order of sequence is very important uh, for this to work, because we need, we need to have uh, we need to have the done bit uh, before the reset. So if we go to TUI here and if we reset this thing, right, this is not going to work. So we need to, um, we're counting here. Once uh, we reach 2, this goes false, unlatches the request. And then we reset the, uh, the first counter. So we're back to where we were when uh, east west is east west um, red amber walk request is false and the counter uh, starts from the beginning. So this is the easy condition. Moving on to the second condition, the green walk request, where we have to wait until the next cycle. So we have the green walk uh, request, right, 301, we have the green walk request, and we have the green light, and let's make sure that we don't have the red amber walk request, right? Let's make sure that's not happening, we don't want to count twice. Um, so if we have these three, uh, let's count to one. We're going to count to one, and then what's going to happen? At one... If we're at 1 and when we go to red light, so we're at green, when we go to red light, this is going to be 2, accumulation is going to be 2, and when the accumulation is 2 and the east-west goes from red to green, we're going to go to 3, and at 3, and when east-west goes from green to red, we're going to go to 4 and reset. And again, same principle, I need to have the done bit, uh, I need to have the request, I need to have this rung before this one, otherwise uh, this will never unlatch. And notice that this one, not only we have to have the request, but we need to be at accumulation 3. So we have the green walk request. And accumulation 3 means that we're, we're here, right? So we have 2, and when we have the green light, we have the accumulation 3. So this is actually the at the counter 3, we are now at the, re, uh, the, the next uh, green cycle, right? So when 
not only do we have to have the request, but we need to be at counter three for the walk light uh, to turn on. And again, uh, when green light is lit, it's going to be solid. And when it's amber, it's going to be flashing. So that is pretty much it for the program. It runs 8 through 14, as I mentioned, are exactly uh, like 1 through 7. And it's north-south as opposed to east-west. So let's test this program. So I hit the walk push button when when the direction is red, which means this should go to walk when the direction turns green. And it does go to walk, as you can see. Now it's flashing at amber. Now let me test this side. We are at green. I hit the push button, so we need to wait until the next green for this walk light to turn on. And it does. Let's see if it's flashing at amber. And it does. And we're done. Since this is an educational video, I would like to end with a homework assignment. How would you modify the program to implement a second walk push button for each direction? Provide your answers in the comment section below.